on earth do you train to hike 2,197.4 miles? Today I will be going over what I am doing to train physically for my upcoming through hike attempt of the Appalachian Trail in 2024. If you're new here, my name is Molly, and like I just said, I will be attempting a northbound through hike of the Appalachian Trail starting in March of 2024. I just finished up a week of training, so I wanted to go over everything that I did this week, and this will give you an idea of everything that I'll be doing as far as physical training up until I start the trail in March. So in this video, I'm specifically going to be going over what I do during the the work week, so Monday through Friday. Um, I have a full-time job, so I have to fit in all my physical training around my job. I typically like to wake up early in the morning around 4, 4.30 and get a lot of my training done before I have to be at work around 7.30. So that's kind of how I like to do it. I know that if I don't do it first thing in the morning, there is a very slim chance that I will do it when I get home from work because I just have other things going on. I am tired and I'm full of excuses in the afternoon. So first thing in the morning is when I like to get all of my training done. So let's get started with everything that I do for training on Mondays. So like I said, I like to wake up early. I get up around 4, 4.30. And since January 1st, my husband and I have been starting every day with a cold plunge. We don't have anything fancy. We just went to the farm store and we got a 100 gallon stock tank and filled it with water and it's in kind of our side yard, I guess you could say. And so every morning we have been getting in that for two, two and a half minutes just to start our day, um, get some cold exposure. There's a lot of good benefits of cold exposure and so we've just kind of made a pact to start our day with that uh, for the foreseeable future. I'm not sure how long that's going to last but that's what we're doing right now. So first thing in the morning, cold plunge. So after our cold plunge, what I like to do on Mondays is I like to also use an infrared sauna. I do feel a little bit bougie, uh, but we do have an infrared sauna in our garage as part of our home gym setup. Uh, when I lived in California, I worked for like a wellness company that provided a lot of services to, uh, geared towards recovering from workouts and things like that. So they had infrared saunas, cryotherapy, compression therapy, hyperbaric oxygen chambers. Um, all sorts of different services focused on helping people recover from their workout. I got pretty spoiled um, from that job being able to use all the services all the time and when we moved back the one that I missed the most was uh, the infrared sauna so uh, we saved up and we got one a couple years ago and I absolutely love it. I use it all the time. So on Monday after the cold plunge I got in the sauna and I stayed in there for about 45 minutes. So that is all I did Monday morning, uh, headed off to work for the day, and what I try to do is on my lunch break or when I have a long break at work, I like to go for a walk just around the neighborhoods. Monday, I decided to bring a 10 pound weight vest with me, and so I put that on under my coat. <laughs> so I'm on my lunch break from work. So I didn't want to bring my backpacking backpack to work with me and look like a complete weirdo. So I just brought a 10 pound uh, weight vest. And so I'm using that today um, as I go on this little walk around the neighborhoods by my work. And yeah, hoping to do about uh, two or three miles today. It's a little drizzly out, but not too bad. About three miles with the 10 pound weight vest on. Yeah, nothing special here, uh, just literally walking around the neighborhood. It does get kind of boring and tedious because I tend to go, like, do the same loop every day. But, yeah, just getting out there I think is pretty important. And that's all I did for on Monday as far as physical training for the Appalachian Trail. 
On Tuesday, we started our morning again with a cold plunge. I think I made it about two minutes and 10 seconds uh, on this day. It's pretty chilly. The water keeps getting colder because uh, the weather's getting colder. But yeah, after the cold plunge was done, uh, I had a lifting session planned. So I got ready for that and we have a home gym that we've been slowly obtaining different uh, pieces of workout equipment. For about the last five months, I've been following a workout plan that is uh, focused a lot on strengthening the lower bodies. So the glutes, the quads, hamstrings, calves, um, things like that, which I think will um, come in handy on the Appalachian Trail with all the elevation gain and descent that the trail has. Hopefully strengthening those muscles will help me uh, get over all of the mountains. A lot of the exercise that I've been doing have been focused on lower body with some upper body things sprinkled in. I think my workout was about 45 minutes on Tuesday. On Tuesday, I went for another walk during my lunch break. I didn't have quite as much time to spend. I was only able to do two miles, but I still had that 10 pound weight vest on. That was all I did on Tuesday as far as training. So my training on Wednesdays is pretty similar to my training on Mondays. Um, I wake up around 4, 4.30, and first things first, gotta get that cold plunge in. So I went ahead and I did that. And then uh, I had turned the sauna on earlier that morning so that it was nice and toasty um, and warm for after I was done with the cold plunge. So pretty much immediately got in the sauna. Yeah, and once again on my lunch break at work, I went for a walk. It is Wednesday afternoon. I'm on my afternoon walk. I'm so tired today. I really didn't want to leave my office and go do this, but I did. Waking up at like 4 a.m. is catching up with me. I think I did three miles this day. My Thursdays look a little bit different. The only thing that I do in the morning is the cold plunge and then I get ready and go to work. So I do get to sleep in a little bit later on Thursdays, which is nice. And this is uh, what I do on Thursdays for my workouts and recovery. Uh, this is step one. She sounds way less enthused, doesn't she? I do not want to do this today. <laughs> At work, I go for a walk during my lunch break. Again, I try to hit three miles if I can. So the reason that I don't do anything in the morning on Thursdays is because on Thursdays, I have plans with my mom every week and she has a gym membership to Planet Fitness and she can bring a guest every time. I like to utilize the Stairmaster um, at the gym because that, Again, I want to make sure that my legs are strong and can make it up all the elevation. So I've been doing this for a couple months now with my mom. I'm going every Thursday, I'm trying to build up my endurance on the Stairmaster. And uh, this week I decided to kind of increase the intensity a little bit and I brought a 30 pound weight vest and I wore that for uh, 30 minutes on the Stairmaster. And let me tell you, that was probably the hardest workout that I did this week. So definitely need to keep going and doing that, get my legs strong and my lungs strong uh, for the trail. And that is what I do on Thursdays. Uh, last but not least, on Fridays, you guessed it, wake up and cold plunge. Uh, it's Friday. Uh, last day of the work week, but I've got to get it started with the cold plunge. Five, four, three, two, one, two minutes. After the cold plunge on Fridays, I have a lifting session that I do just in my home gym again. Again, a lot of focus on the lower lower body, strengthening the muscles uh, in my legs primarily uh, with some upper body sprinkled in there a little bit. Uh, this Friday was just a little bit different. I only had to be at work for half a day. 
so I didn't get my afternoon walk-in during my lunch break, but my husband and I decided to do a stretching and mobility session. Uh, we literally just went on YouTube and found something to follow along with and did a bunch of stretches and things like that. Um, our dog tried to join us, which was kind of entertaining. I definitely tend to um, procrastinate stretching. It's not one of my favorite things, but I know that it's really important and it would probably be really beneficial to do leading up and while I'm on the trail. So I'm trying to get that into my daily routine so that I have that habit before I go. So on Friday, we did a stretching and mobility session. I just want to put a little bit of a disclaimer out there. I am not an expert in any of this. I promise this is just what I'm doing to physically prepare for the Appalachian Trail. I have been lifting weights for probably the last 10 years on and off through the guidance of my husband who does have that background in exercise science. But yeah, this is just what I'm doing. Um, if you made it this far, I really appreciate you watching and staying for the whole thing. I just kind of wanted to recap everything that I do during the week to physically train for my upcoming through hike attempt. In my next video, I'm going to be talking about what I do on the weekends. So on Saturdays and Sundays to physically train. I have a little bit more time those days, so I'm able to do some longer activities. So stay tuned for that video. Well, thank you so much for watching and mighty fine hiking everyone. Bye!